And we're live, so hello, good evening, good morning, or wherever you are in the world. Uh, we're, we're saying hello from the east coast and the bottom end of Australia. Uh, this is another edition of the Faces of Entrepreneur, and my name is Stuart Harris, and I'm introducing the show today. It's my privilege to be doing that yet again. And I, today we have uh, two very, very interesting and exciting guests. And because we've got a lot to get through, I'm going to introduce them straight away. So first up, what I'd like to do is introduce Ranil Rajapaksha. Ranil is the founding member, one of the founding members of the Face of Entrepreneurs. Welcome along tonight, Ranil. Good to see you here again. Thank you, Stuart. Thanks for the opportunity to do this again as well. Uh, it's great to be on board and great to have Tia with us as well. Yes, and uh, Ranil's referring to our special guest, and uh, as he's mentioned, her name is Tia Mahill, and Tia is uh, the brains and the goods behind the, uh, the the website and the business known as Weblicious Solutions. And uh, Tia, that's a fantastic name. Well, welcome along with us tonight. It's good to see you here too. Yeah, hi, hi, and yeah, thank you for the compliment. Yeah, and uh, it's a pleasure to be here with such a too handsome man. <laughs> thank you for having me. Uh, is there somebody standing behind me somewhere? I don't <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your compliment. Um, so, look, um, can you just very quickly? I'm going to go to Renewal in a minute, but I just want to know where Weblicious Solutions came from. Can you just tell us a little bit about that? Well, it actually came from, um, how should I say, from my head, <laughs> but actually from my living room, you know, I've been uh, playing with um, affiliate marketing for a while and uh, I missed people. So I said, oh, well, this is a great idea to actually start teaching people and helping them with their online solutions. So Weblicious Solutions as a name came from Delicious, which <laughs> it's a little bit, you know, different, but it, uh, it, it shows that there is, we like to do stuff that looks good, but as well that it's does good stuff for, for you, like delicious food. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like it a lot. And, and um, you know, just saying the word and, and internalizing the word uh, gives you a good feeling about the, the sort of work that you're obviously offering in the marketplace. We want to come back and talk about that in a minute. But, Renil, I want to talk a little bit about uh, the face of entrepreneurs. And I'm just wondering if perhaps you could tell us a little bit about uh, what the, what it is and what, what the mission of the Face of Entrepreneurs is for us all. Yeah, sure. The Face of Entrepreneurs is basically a meetup group. Um, the mission is to is to harness, I guess, like-minded people, get them together. Um, <coughs> it can range from people who are from startups to self-employed people to people who actually run their own businesses and it could be a medium enterprise. But um, the whole point is for all of us to get together and actually just to share stories. I mean, everybody's got stories. Um, we also have three pillars that we that we abide by, I guess, that make us a little bit different. Um, and one of the things that we found was, you know, going to a few other meetup groups as well. There seemed to be something lacking. Um, you know, it seemed to just be a whole bunch of great people getting together, lots of energy, but it was just drinks in a corner of a bar. And that's where we thought, you know, there might be a void in the market or there might be an opportunity to actually make this a little bit different. So, yeah, so we, we had the three pillars, which is connect, inspire, and escape. Um, and the connect part basically means connecting with like-minded people. Uh, the inspire part is basically where we actually invite people that will inspire every single business owner uh, that's a member of TFE, the Phase 1 <laughs> Entrepreneur. And the escape component is what makes us just that little bit different. So the escape component is basically uh, building on the fact that a lot of us business owners work hard. You know, we might be doing, we might have different hats on. We might wear, you know, the sales hat, go home and wear the finance hat, uh, you know, the HR hat. And we don't really have time to escape and not think about work. So that's the unique component that we have uh, at the Face of Entrepreneurs that has actually been getting a lot of really positive feedback. So um, that's basically uh, the face of entrepreneurs in a, uh, yeah, in a nutshell. Yeah, and, and look, I really like the three pillars too, Renil. Um, it's always been something that I've uh, found uh, you know, very, well, inspiring for want of a better word, and that's the, the middle pillar. But um, I think the concept of escape allows people to 
uh, relax, to be themselves, to have a bit of fun. And by virtue of that, you can then do the other two things properly. You can connect, you know, you can start to discuss and meet people and, and talk about topics that interest them. And, and, and then you can find some inspiration. So you're uninhibited by that, that environment. And you can, you can look and, and pick up uh, inspirational ideas, activities, or even meet inspirational people. And I, I really think that this, those three pillars are really uh, a, a prime component of what the Face of Entrepreneurs is all about. Um, can, can you tell us um, a little bit more about how you kicked it off? Uh, you know, what, where, where did it actually all start and, and what was the inspiration there? Sure. Well, the founding members uh, who are Federico Ray, my, uh, who's, a, who's a business coach, a great business coach, and he's got uh, quite an extensive uh, background in business himself, uh, running a successful business that started from his garage and ended up you know, being acquired. Uh, and then we have Maya as well, who's a creative director. She's got her own studio, and she does amazing work. Um, and myself, basically, who's, a, who's an online advertising specialist. Um, it, it kicked off, the idea kicked off from Federico uh, doing an amazing, like a, a really, really life-changing kind of event in, um, in South Africa. And it, he went to, I guess you could say, a business conference. Uh, that incorporated an adventure component as well as a business, I guess, uh, leadership component. And uh, it's something where I think he never really saw that those two elements bonding together. And uh, then when he came, when he brought back his experiences to us, um, we actually kind of ran with that. So the escape component was there. It was almost like a shoe in. Um, you know, it, it's it, it, fit, it fit like a glove actually. It was really really cool. And just just on your point before, in terms of uh, you know you liking the three pillars, thank you very much as well. Um, I think that's attracting really interesting people to our group as well in terms of members. Um, as an example, Tia, um, you know who's who's amazing. She's got her hands in a few pies, which I hope you know she'll get into a bit later. Um, we also, for example, attracted um, someone who's the youngest marketing manager that en ended up at uh, McDonald's. He had a dream one day, he ended up pursuing it, and he was the youngest uh, marketing manager there and made some pretty profound changes there too. On top of that, we had someone else who, uh, who's going to start his own, or the first wind farm in Thailand. And it's amazing to actually attract these <laughs> caliber people because you wouldn't necessarily meet them anywhere else. And e each individual has their own story, has their own you know, um, unique uh, experience that we all share and I guess that's the inspirational component organically that we that we kind of uh, feed off as well yeah and and I think um, uh, your experiences to date with some of the uh, some of the people that have been attending events and um, you know being part and parcel of what the face of entrepreneurs is all about has really also started to make this something of uh, a growth um, environment a, a growth um, you know, entity really, and it's probably the word I'm looking for is, you know, it's got legs basically, and uh, I think uh, we're going to see this turn into a number of different um, uh, um, variations right around the country and possibly right around the world. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. Uh, we, we're talking to uh, Ranil Rajapaksha uh, from the Face of Entrepreneurs here tonight, and uh, we've also got our special guest. Tia Mahill, and she's from Web Weblicious Solutions. It's a bit of a mouthful for me, as you can see, but um, uh, you know, it's it's great to have her along. Uh, if you're also along here tonight, we really welcome you to this hangout. And um, if if you've got the event in front of you and you've got your uh, keyboard there, by all means, just pop in uh, in the comments area there. Um, who you are, where you're from, and um, what, what you're looking for out of this event so that maybe we can have a look and see if we can answer those questions for you. So it's just in the comments box below the, the video uh, section in the events page and uh, just just feel free to pop in there. Um, Ranil, just coming back to the Face of Entrepreneurs, um, what type of people does uh, does the Face of Entrepreneurs attract? I know you've talked about some of these 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 budding entrepreneurs that are uh, building businesses and creating some some new things, but tell us a wee bit of, a wee bit more about who who else might be attracted to this. 
Uh, well, look, we're, we're looking to attract people, I guess, in a nutshell, that are willing to come and actually ask the question, how can I help you? Uh, I think there's a lot of, uh, you know, other, uh, other events out there where people kind of attend and they're probably asking, how are you going to help me? Uh, we kind of like to flip that on their head somehow. Um, and also, you know, people who are open to new experiences, people who are just open to, um, to sharing their journey uh, through, you know, whatever challenges uh, that they've been through. Uh, we're not necessarily closing doors to anybody. Uh, it seems to be just, you know, gaining so much momentum, you know, with this, with this interview, uh, Google, with the Google Plus Hangout. So thank you very much as well and your interest, Stuart. But on top of that, there's actually also um, editorial that's being written up. Um, there's sponsors and advertisers and you know, <laughs> companies that are looking to actually get involved and, and with speaking with them. Uh, so it's, it's really great. And again, to answer your question, we're just open to anybody. Uh, just come along. As long as you, you're open enough to actually share your experiences with everybody else, um, we'd love to see you. So yeah, hopefully we can see you at, a, at an upcoming event soon. Yep, and 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 can you just give us a bit of a rundown on the last event because I think that was um, well attended, and uh, you know if if people get an idea of um, w what happens at those events, they they're certainly probably going to uh, be more inspired to to attend. So just just the last event in July, I think, Ranil, Chapter Two event. Yes. Yeah, sure. It was really fun. Uh, so it was our second event. We're we're calling them chapters. So this was chapter two, and uh, what we like to do is we kind of like to, you know, have some sort of an intrigue element to it. Uh, so what we what we did was we called it No Wall Too High. Uh, that was a clue. Some people got it. It was actually a rock climbing uh, exercise that we did, basically. That was part of the escape component. Um, in terms of the inspirational component, Federico Ray actually gave us his very inspiring uh, journey and story. Um, and that was actually brilliant. Uh, connected with every single person in the room. We also had a couple of activities so we could um, get to know each other a lot more. Um, and it was it was quite a fitting activity, actually. And Taya might be able to also share her experiences with this because there was a lot of people that had to trust someone else while climbing this huge wall. And, you know, you've got the person on the bottom that's basically holding the rope, you know, and they have that person's life in their hands. And we try and actually kind of, um, you know, have some sort of mirror image with how, you know, life is as a business owner and also with the activity. So there are some times where you need to trust people out there and you need to put everything in someone else's hands and just go with it. Um, but in saying that, we all were well adversed and well trained before we actually did climb the wall or support the other person that's climbing the wall, which is kind of like business. So what we try to bring back to, to it all is to tie it all together with a great event, um, but you know, to also kind of you know, find synergies with, with what we do in day-to-day -day business. It doesn't need to all be you know, uh, the daily grind. We can use the same principles, but have fun with it too. That's the whole part of the, the face of entrepreneurs. Just with that, Taya, did you did you find that uh, you had to? Was it easy to actually uh, trust the person that was belaying you? Well, you know, um, it was it was first challenging because I think we all had a bit of a challenge with knowing how to do the you know the whole harness or whatever you call these things, you know, and to hold someone. And because I was the first one that I had to actually hold this other person, I was like, shit, if I drop her. <laughs> so I had this problem. I didn't have a problem trusting her, but I was like, oh, my God, can I do this? Am I trusting myself to hold somebody so high? So, yeah, it was very, very interesting. And look, it was heaps of fun, you know. Like, you go somewhere, you don't know where you're going, you know. You're not even going to meet good people. But, you know, more so you're climbing. And... You know, the experience itself, it's like once you go with someone um, and you've done the activity together, you, basically what that means is that immediately you bond on another level. It's not just another networking event where, where you just kind of exchange the business card. You know, you actually had to work with that person to achieve something together, and it's an experience that you can never forget. Just, just on that as well, Stuart, if I may, what, what makes us a little bit different as well is uh, we've got uh, one of... One of Melbourne's greatest photographers, uh, Jesse Spezza, he's of Beckon Media. Uh, he's done work with um, with uh, with the fashion parades and Australian Open and all that kind of stuff. And he's actually on hand, and we have a makeshift studio 
uh, mobile studio, I guess you could, you could say, that's actually set up. And what we do is we actually take photos, uh, high resolution photos of people, then that's our gift to them. So a lot of us, I, you know, we notice in, in terms of uh, social pages or websites, it's hard, it's hard to come by really professional photos, you know, that are not just, you know, plastic and looking at a camera. Well, there's a bit of personality, and that's what Jesse gets out of these people. And, uh, and we, give, we give them to our members to actually use them however they please. So that's part of, part of the event as well, which, which, yeah, which hopefully adds a little bit more value than, you know, uh, another event. Uh, so I, I, I can definitely see there's a lot of uh, cool stuff that comes through uh, from from the face of entrepreneurs and especially the live events. So um, we I, I want to talk to Tia about this and and uh, maybe touch base with how good her own climbing skills are. Uh, <laughs> but uh, bef before we do, Tia, um, can I can I ask you a little bit about your business? Um, can can you describe uh, what it is about and and what, what are the services that you're providing to your customers presently? Yeah, you see, well, at the Revelation Solutions, we are all about, uh, you know, looking after people's uh, online presence. So, you know how you have a lot of, you know, websites and people, you know, build them and there's nothing happens with them, so they're useless tool for business owners. So, where we come in is that we actually build websites that work for the business owners. So. They become like their sales and marketing machine, you know, which um, and an automated one. So that means that they actually have more time to do actual stuff in the business that matters. So we take away all the stress uh, about dealing with technology. So we set up for them, you know, a beautiful, responsive website with all the modern perks, you know, social media connectivity, that sort of stuff. But the main component, what we attach to it, is that we uh, create something that captures people on their website. So they're willing to uh, to put their address, uh, email address, and name, and and get into their um, sales and marketing funnel, because you would probably know that only five percent of people actually uh, are ready to buy or call you at the time when they visit your website, and they go and you never see them again. <laughs> so we put all these things in places, and as I said, everything is automated, which is fantastic. <laughs> so yeah, that's our main component. But also we advise people, you know overall about online marketing and your know, social media things like that. Sure, and, and just just um, who would be your, your typical uh, client? You know, what, what sort of people would, would benefit uh, from, from your services today? Yeah. Look, I guess one of the most common sort of things that come to my mind to say is it's, it's a business owner who is aware that unless they're present online, they can't really grow a business in this modern era. And they see the necessity that having having a good online presence actually is about get, generating leads, not just about having a pretty things out there. <laughs> so um, usually those are the people that, um, that want to have things automated, so they're struggling with, with their time and they're struggling with, with having just always on the mind, oh, I have to send a newsletter, I have to post something on my blog. So we take a lot of that stress away by implementing certain strategies at the back. But also, you know, uh, it's a world wide web, you know, even though if you're a local business, you know, you still need to be present because people use Google for, you know, you Google is a new yellow page, as, as people say. So, yeah, so the typical person would be someone that really wants to as well pre-qualify their clients, you know, so that they don't talk just to everyone that, that comes, you know, uh, across their sort of path, you know, that they actually have a system in place that does this pre-qualifying for them. So they only speak to their ideal clients, um, which means, you know, their conversions are better. Yeah, absolutely, and and look, um, you know, just as an example, I, I do a fair bit of my own, own work, and uh, it, mm -hmm. it can be time consuming and highly wasteful, because I, I just did um, uh, three sets of ads, um, and I'll be quite open about it, the first ad had no clicks, none whatsoever, and I thought, you know, the wording was spot on. I thought it was the greatest ad that I could have ever written, and it got nothing. And then two, two ads I then did after that. Um, you know, they, they were, one got 58 and one got 76 clicks or something in in the space of 24 hours. So, you know, you can spend you can spend a lot of time doing this yourself, or you can get somebody like um, like Taya and her, and her business. Uh, that they, they've done all the hard work and they can put it together. And um, just in terms of business, Tao, I just want to ask you a little bit about um, what inspired you to get into business and where, where do you see yourself going with things in the future? Yeah, you see, 
what inspires me to actually go into business as itself is um, I look I'm all about lifestyle and you know having time as well you know uh, for working hard and for playing hard and you know being with your family and your, your loved ones and coming from a corporate background you know I, I just couldn't do that you know you always depend on someone to tell you what to do and where to be at what time and it's just against my nature <laughs> So I was always looking for something and you know internet is a wonderful thing where you can do all these things and and now even looking back you know what really drives me forward is that I get across uh, business owners like every day I meet someone either they are thinking of starting you know when I was still in corporate world there are people with such lovely skills and they have so much expertise and they just don't have guts to, to break you know from that you know nine to five job so I'm really inspired to talk as many people and encourage them to actually take that step, but as well help them, you know, what, what to do first and what the journey means and, you know, um, yeah, it's, it's hard work, but it's so much rewarding when you know that you're doing it for yourself and I guess that's my biggest driver, you know. Yeah, and, and I can I can completely relate to that and I think, um, Ranil, you can too. Um, it's certainly uh, one of the best best experiences that anyone can ever have is, is working for yourself and, and making things happen for yourself even if sometimes it doesn't work you know that you, you're still doing it for yourself wouldn't you agree yeah absolutely and you know and, you know it's the persistence that gets you somewhere you know a lot of times people you can see them they're working really hard but when it comes to the crunch time when you can either let go or continue and you have to continue you know? so that's why it's so important that you're doing something that you're passionate about or at least remind yourself why you're doing something and what's the ultimate why and um, you know a lot of times people just you know just they just give up and um, when you're working for yourself that's not an option you have to keep on going you know I always remind myself what's the plan B is going back and working for someone and you go like, well, no more holidays, no more, you know. So you just go, um, yeah, this is not an option. And you know, if you love what you're doing, you just continue. And that's one of the things I love to inspire people to to just keep on going and and yeah, fight fight for <laughs> fight for the freedom, you know. Yep. You totally know, you know, I, totally think was, I, I think it go was uh, Thomas Edison that said that had a really good quote that I like, and his quote was. Uh, I haven't, I haven't failed. I just, I've just found ten thousand ways that don't work. Yeah. I think that pretty much sums it up. You know, um, yeah, like you said, Taya, it's about persistence. There's a whole bunch of other things that go around with that. You know, passion, drive, enthusiasm, and I kind of uh, values that you need to dig deep as a person. Um, um, and Taylor would probably agree with me, so would you, Stuart, where, you know, business sometimes make you also find who you really are. And I think that's at the darkest moments, you know, uh, where I think we all draw on those moments when the rewarding times come. You know, you need yeah. to kind of have, I think, uh, the tough times in order to, you know, really enjoy the sweet of, of the good times. Yeah. yeah, and uh, that's so true, Ranil. I, I completely agree with with the, everything you've just said. It, you know, it's, it's the sweets that that make the hard times the best. And um, I, I want to ask uh, Taya that um, what, what was it the sweets at the TFA, TFA event that um, got you interested, or how did you how did you actually find out about the face of entrepreneurs? Well, I sort of uh, known uh, Ranil and Federico. I met them at uh, another networking event and sort of kept in touch uh, mostly with Federico at the start. And, you know, I really liked his sort of, uh, you know, the whole idea of helping young entrepreneurs, especially, you know, coming from a background where he had to build a business from the start. And it's invaluable to get to get someone else telling about the story. So I really, you know, connected with him on that sort of uh, point. And, Obviously, with Ranil, he has this fantastic energy as well, and that, that you know, when I got the invite, I was like, okay, you know, probably boys on to something, you know, they're not going to do one of those boring events where, you know, people just come there, or, you know, when people just organize their event in order for them to get leads, and there is really no benefit for people attending. Um, so, yeah, it had, you know, sometimes you just have a gut feeling that some things are good, and you go and attend and hope that that's true. <laughs> Yeah, so so in effect, really, uh, the face of entrepreneurs, the, the 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 network, the group, and the events is quite substantially different from from anything else. Uh, are, are you able to elaborate on on some of those key differences? 
Well, I guess one of the, the biggest one was for me that, you know, there's no um, speed networking or speed dating. Well, I shouldn't say speed dating, is it? It's speed networking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you basically kind of, you know, I like the model where we actually met, we had time to get to know each other, to get to know, you know, everybody that was involved. But as well, here's something about what inspired people to actually create this event, you know, because it's always good to know because that's the energy that drives everything and that's the energy that will attract people and if you like that then surely you will meet people that you like there as well. So obviously there's a big component when we went and we did the rock climbing and, and that was a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, and that was pushing us out of our comfort zone and just doing something different, you know. And as much as my first thought was like, oh, you know, like, you know, I can do these things with my friends and then you go like, but hang on, have you been rock climbing with them? No. So. I was like, this is great, it makes me do something else that I wouldn't really necessarily go and do myself and really like that. And a little bit of secrecy, you know, we all like a little bit of a secret element to it and not knowing where you're going. And yeah, so yeah, it was fantastic from that perspective. And um, you, now you did in fact do uh, some rock climbing yourself, didn't you? Tell, tell us how that went. Well, it went pretty right, I must say. I was actually quite surprised that I, I'm good at this. <laughs> But I think one of the biggest funny or the funniest thing that happened was that I was so proudly telling how me and my partner we did the you know the wall that was you know the the, the heaviness like the what she said the rank was nineteen you know and and our coach she said well don't go anything above twelve and I'm like we just done nineteen this is fantastic we are clearly talented for this shit you know. <laughs> And then I realized it was actually a number of the wall itself, not the ranking. So I was like, bum, bum. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm not a champion. Was there anything else that, that you did at the event that you, that you enjoyed? Are you able to tell us about it? I think it was great to sort of see uh, about, you know, people's inspiration. That was really, really good because everybody comes from a different place. And so many times, like, it's fantastic to see what drives people and, and why they're sticking up in there, you know, for, for making something happen and what's the big why, you know. So that was really good. And, and yeah, just, look, you know, everything was great. So it was hard to say what was the, the most the biggest part. But I think... After the event was, you know, the reflection of, you know, who was there and people were really quality people, if I may say so, uh, in the sense of uh, from a business perspective, but as well from a, from a personal perspective. And I can see that with, with most of them, I'll keep in contact and, and which is very valuable in business because you do business with people you like and you do business with people who have similar um, or at least same values. And, and I, I felt that in that, that, that uh, networking event. Awesome. And um, Renil, perhaps can I just ask you, um, you know, because you're, you're part of the founding uh, membership and you're sort of hosting and running these events, but um, can you give us a perspective of how you feel the event is and, and, and what it's doing for um, uh, participants? Yeah, sure. Look, uh, you know, I think... I think to answer that question the best way is just to just to see the new people, you know, and the new blood that comes, uh, people who are attending, uh, again, the caliber of people who are attending. And on top of that, I think what we're, we're really, really grateful for people to actually come out after work. Uh, it's a Thursday night. Uh, the night that we actually went out for rock, rock climbing, it was a very cold night in Melbourne. Uh, but people still made the effort venue that we actually meet up so n no one knows number one what we're going to be doing as an, as an event and where we're going to meet so we actually they, they just know where we're going to meet then we actually take off from there and it was so nice to see such a big group um, but on top of that um, it was nice to also see that people wanted to hang out with you know us afterwards so we usually kind of go to a, to a local you know bar or cafe and just have a drink and uh, people hung out for a good two hours going home, I think, at about 11, 11.30 or so. And I think that, that reflects, I guess, the connection side of things, you know, uh, with pure strangers. But there is this thread that kind of, um, you know, connects us all, you know, business owners. And those beautiful elements that we spoke about, passion, you know, drive, enthusiasm, and I think we feed off each other. Um, on you know when when we have a chat to each other, 
Uh, I'll also say that um, it's it, it's just very gratifying to see you know that an idea that we came up with has just got so much legs, and it's attracting you know wonderful, beautiful people like Tia. Um, that, that's part of the family now, you know, and we're just genuine people without an agenda, just trying to you know put something really cool together. And it's our second event, and it seems like it's uh, it's gonna be gonna be ongoing, and there's gonna be quite a few chapters in this big book. It's good fun. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's it sounds good, and um, you know it, I I can see and feel the um, feel the growth in the in the whole entity. I think it's gonna gonna grow rapidly. But here's the litmus test. So I'm gonna ask Tia, Tia, mm -hmm. is, are, are you gonna go along to the next event? Are you gonna participate in this? And well, um, yeah, go on. No, no, continue. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, um, how do you see how do you see your participation in the face of entrepreneurs going forward? Well, I, you know, we'll see what happens if they invite me. And I'm joking. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, definitely, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> you never know, you know. <laughs> No, look, uh, it, it was really a lot of fun and, you know, I would definitely love to see uh, people that are already met and just, you know, continue building on that relationship. So that's yes, Stuart, I will be coming, um, unless it's something really, really odd that, that the title tells me and I go like, oh, no, no. <laughs> I'm up for any fun. So, uh, yeah, no, look, we'll definitely, yeah, I'll definitely come along. I'm looking forward to it. Well, it's going to be a brilliant event for the next one, Tia. Uh, I don't think you want to miss out on it. It's going to be super exciting. Really, really cool. I can't tell you what it is just yet. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be brilliant. So much fun and so different. I don't think many people have actually done this event either. So stay okay. tuned. I hope it's not swimming with sharks. <laughs> not just yet. No, but you could do that just in Botany, you know, in, in Port Port. In, Port Melbourne anyway, so it's fine. Yeah. Well, funnily enough, I, that was my my thirtieth, which was a few years ago, birthday surprise. So I've done that one. So it was it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So you, you've actually swum the sharks, Ted? Yes. Well, I was one of those people that um, you know, I have blonde hair, so obviously that's obvious. With the stupid <laughs> questions, you know, I was like, are the sharks already in a tank when you put us in? You know, like. But you know, stupid. But anyway, it was yeah. I was a bit scared. I must say. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. All right. So look, um, uh, Tia, just uh, want to wind up now very quickly. Have you got anything else you want to add about um, the face of entrepreneurs and your experiences with it? Well, I'll just you know say to people, you don't know what it, if it's for you unless you try it. And you know, I'm pretty sure that if you go there. <laughs> It will be for you because it's really great fun. Uh, so yeah, come along. You'll meet me. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's awesome. I love it. And um, so, uh, Ranil, are we able to just um, give uh, Tia a, a little plug for her website? Absolutely. Please go ahead. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll probably leave it to Tia. Um, if, yeah. if you want to, you know. Plug, plug your website. Actually, can you also just mention your app very quickly as well, Tia, because that's quite exciting. If we've got time, if you can be really, really quick, Tia, that will be awesome. Yeah, not a problem. Absolutely. Thank you for this opportunity. So, well, one of the exciting things that I'm part of, it's a, it's a startup. It's called MapSafe, which is actually the, the first and the only crowdsourcing, uh, crowdsource-based um, app that sort of helps reduce violence in public places and in streets. So it's all about um, uh, raising awareness, uh, creating maps, and and rating places uh, for safe and unsafe based on criteria for you know poor street lighting, antisocial behavior, and overall overall area. And um, what that in back in the background, what it does, it creates a massive safety uh, global safety database, which can then be used to sort of influence governments and and you know responsible authorities to actually do something about it. And because you know, we live in a, in a Melbourne, which is the world's livest, uh, the most livable city. However, you know, 90% of women say that they feel unsafe or insecure uh, at times. So let's fix that. <laughs> so that just briefly, yeah. 
Awesome. And, and where can they go to get that um, app, Tia? Well, the app is currently is uh, it's in alpha testing, so which means that only people uh, that uh, are invited can test it. But by all means, you know, we'll be happy to to give anyone a, a link. So if anyone is interested, uh, please go to you know mapsec.com and there's a like an invite tab, and you can just put your details in, and they will send you all the all the requirements. But also, you know, we are on Facebook and Twitter, so <laughs> who isn't? So yeah, please visit us there and get more information. That's fantastic, and so so this is um, the the face of entrepreneurs, and this is the sort of thing that you get exposure to when you when you participate in in uh, this event in this this wonderful uh, uh, you know growing event and entity. And I'm going to come back to uh, Ranil Ranil Rajapaksha, who is a founding member of the Face of Entrepreneurs. Ranil, do you just want to round out with a little bit of a wind up on the Face of Entrepreneurs, so that um, uh, people can leave with something worthwhile. Sure. Uh, basically, look, I just want to say if, if this appeals to you, if you're after a bit of fun, uh, a bit of escape, um, and also just get some inspiration from other like-minded people and to chill out with, you know, great, beautiful people like Taya, uh, come on down. She's, she's not single, by the way. I should probably say that. Um, <laughs> but also... <laughs> But also, I, I do want to say, on top of that, you know, in terms of the connection side, like on a serious note, uh, there are people who have actually got jobs out of this. Uh, there's people who have actually got accounts out of this, and you know, there's a lot of traction that, that we're seeing organically, and we're we're actually hearing about that later on. So there's a whole bunch of stuff going on, and you know, tentacles that are just being, you know, uh, you know activated. I guess, outside of the events, which is exactly what this is all about. Um, I'll give you an example. One of, one of the examples I heard recently was that one of, the, one of our members from the first event, uh, and also another a member from the first event, is basically almost bringing investors from Singapore to actually start up some uh, investment uh, opportunity in Australia. I mean, that's just wonderful. You know, it's it's way past our expectations or our wildest dreams, but this is just brilliant. So we're just uh, we're just rolling with the punches and uh, having fun along the way, Stuart. So if you're if if you're up for for something like this, willing to connect with you know awesome people, uh, come on down and give it a go and have a bit of fun. Yeah, ab absolutely. Thanks for that, Ranil. And and uh, can you just uh, give us a quick um, URL as to where people can go to find out a bit more? Look, the best uh, best to do is actually best thing to do is head on to meetup.com and put in the face of entrepreneurs. We've got uh, we're going to have social media. Uh, we've got quite a few things happening. So a website soon, the social media, so Facebook page and and our Twitter page as well. Uh, but to begin with, basically, I guess uh, just go to the meetup page, have a look there. All the details are there. Um, and yeah, come on board, and hopefully we'll see you in the next event soon. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Uh, and Tia, just want to have a quick last word before we round out? Yeah, well, thanks, you know, thanks. thank you for having me in this fun chat. You know, it's been really, really fun and obviously thank you for everyone who's listening. Um, yeah, look, what can I say? Come along next time, you know, and meet us all and have fun. And if you need any anything on online, you know where to find me. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll look after you. <laughs> thank you. Awesome. And thanks, thank you, Tia. Thanks a lot, and thanks for thanks for the opportunity to do this as well. You're awesome. We appreciate your support. No the problem. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, both of you. And so this is the face of entrepreneurs. It's an opportunity to connect. It's an opportunity to inspire, and it's an opportunity to escape. And stay tuned for our next event, which won't be too far away. Uh, we're rounding out now. That is the face of entrepreneurs. Thank you very much for attending this evening. <laughs>